Now those of you that uh, have seen some of my videos you know I'm a bit of a collector. I collect watches and I collect pipes. I collect a few other things as well. And, um, I made a video about my pipe collection. It's a short one about one of my other collections which is uh, pocket watches. And the one I'm wearing here for instance is a very old watch, silver watch. Uh, made in Belgium. 114 years of age, still going and keeping perfect time. Amazing, isn't it? I'd like to show you some I've got in the cabinet up here. If you look up there, you see I've got a cabinet of watches. The bottom two shelves are Russian watches. These are Molnijas and Rakitas. Made in the Chelyabrinsk factory, which is situated uh, near the, the southern end of the Ural Mountains in Russia. It's a military factory. It's uh, no longer operating. It was operating during the time of the USSR. And these are very good watches. They're all around about 18 uh, rubies, 18 jewel. They go very well. Keep perfect time, most of them. All of them are running, all of them are good time. The top lot there, there's a variety up there, Smith's mostly, which came from the factory down the road from me. The Smith's, uh, there's no jewels in the Smith's, but some of them are dated back to 1905. They're still running, still keeping pretty good time. One of those on the end there is a, an old watch, a German, and that's around by the early part of the the 1900s, and that is uh, sort of about 1905, 1910. That's keeping good time as well. And these are just a few of the watches I have. I've got another cabinet. Maybe I'll show you that later on. This one over here is on a little stand I made. This was given to me by a friend of mine. This is 1910, and this is a key wine watch, silver. Again, all in good work and order. I just love watches, pocket watches that is. I always wear one. 